Like, say it ain't so. Your paid counsel ain't supposed to say that publicly. He trying to get you killed, my guy. Y'all want to see what this man counsel said to the world, bro? Hold on, bro. Nah, we, we got we to watch it, bro. Hold on. His paid counsel said this, bro. Nah, nah, pay attention right quick. Hold on. I'm going to let this commercial get out the way. His paid lawyer said this to the world, bro. You can't make this up. Hold on. Here we go. G and look, look, we're going to talk about this district attorney I later. I Hang on. I'm a prosecutor at the Harris County DA's office. Hang on, y'all. Um, so just our statement is we believe Cameron Joshua has been appropriately charged. Now you see this goofy nigga you looking out here. This is Houston's district attorney. Meet the bullshit niggas from salute to everybody new in the chat and old people. I'll get to y'all later, but we got to give these updates. You see this district attorney over here. You don't even know who he's representing. It sounds like the niggas representing little cam. Well, these niggas. Before I continue with the video, I just need y'all to hit that like button, hit that notification bell. Thank you for rocking. <coughs> I got that real good pack I'm on right now. But, you know, salute to everybody now, Smoke Hip Hop Nation. Salute to Pesh Mayweather. Go follow my guy right quick and the Instagram on IG. Salute to I Smoke Hip Hop Nation. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Man, let's keep going on with the show. Salute. Because allegedly are dirty as hell. That whole district attorney office. I didn't I exposed it yesterday. But what we need to do, we need to expose it a little bit more today. We'll get to that. We here all day, y'all. We only been here for 20 some minutes. We ain't even started yet. But I want you to pay attention to the attorney. Hold on, bro. I'm trying to hang on. Let's go to my video. Y'all mind if we go to my video right quick of it? We starting to paint, my guy. We ain't went hard yet in this shoot takeoff in the wee hours of november 1st downing says that's information that may or may not be shared we will discuss that with the da's office if we decide to we will discuss that with the da office if we decide to he just gave you up little cam and i'm not calling you a snitch or a rat but your attorney clearly wants to cooperate your counsel is not supposed to say statements like that publicly. The only time you say that publicly is if you talk in the chambers behind the scenes, not not even in the deposition. And a motherfucker gave this attorney a heads up. They got enough things on little cam where they don't even need him to be the actual, you know, one who killed takeoff. But just by him having a weapon there, multiple shots was ringing off. Bro, that's enough to get the nigga 20 years and up. Plus, he's facing another case that he was out, out on bond for already. So, so it's like. 20 years and up they're gonna throw in this nigga bro i'm from the south my nigga i know how it work we're in november and december nigga it's election time nigga you gotta do something even if you connected with the mob or not it's election time nigga you got the world watching bro so niggas is like damn you fucking up the system my god so this nigga knows his client little cam is fucked right now Damn, bro, how we get out of this we don't even need to worry about if little cam is the shooter or not right now just the fact I'm fast forwarding the live stream. Boy, I know you want me to sound like I'm. What's your name? What, what the? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Time out. Martin Lawrence voice. Time the fuck out. What is this nigga name? RF. We know, been around. We know how the damn justice system works. Don't play no BS right now. We know it's game fucking over, nigga. Hang on, listen. Take off in the wee hours of November 1st. Interesting part of the whole damn thing. Listen. When asked if his client knew who did shoot take off in the wee hours of November 1st, Downing says that's information that may or may not be shared. We will discuss that with the DA's office if we decide to. The intense interest in Joshua's arrest at anyone. When asked if his client knew who did shoot takeoff in the wee hours of November 1st, Downing says that's information that may or may not be shared. We will discuss that with the DA's office if we decide to. The intense Huh, nigga? Huh? Don't, don't, don't you come here, bro. Every receipt we put in this motherfucker is real, bro. Certified, nigga. I do real homework. I don't look at another blogger and be on some Martin Lawrence run, tell that type shit. Oh, guess what news I got for y'all today? I've been watching such and such blogger. Here's the update. What type of lazy homework is that? Maybach Mel hit me up today and he's giving me real information. Shout out to Maybach Mel. That's how I get news from folks letting me know something and I fact checked and then I even been waking up.
involved in this shit. Do you niggas do that? Look at during election times four. That nigga gonna end up snitching too. I'm, I'm gonna get it into it. Hold on. And hear this part out. Most. Let's let this commercial go out the way right quick. Y'all remember we said it here at I Smoke Hip Hop Nation. And a motherfucker gave this attorney a heads up. They got enough things on Little Cam where they don't even need him to be the actual, you know, one who killed Takeoff. But just by him having a weapon there, multiple shots was ringing off. Bro, that's enough to get the nigga 20 years and up. Plus, he's facing another case that he was out, out on bond for already. So, so it's like 20 years and up, they're going to throw in this nigga. Bro, I'm from the South, my nigga. I know how it works. We're in November and December, nigga. It's election time, nigga. You got to do something, even if you connect it with the mob or not it's election time nigga you got the world watching bro so niggas is like damn you fucking up the system my god so this nigga knows his client little cam is fucked right now damn bro how we get out of this we don't even need to worry about if little cam is the shooter or not right now just the fact that it took them a month and some change to finally arrest little cam you know what that tells me a motherfucker got mad somebody said talking loud and saying everything wrong now i'm gonna help you get off my dude you i don't know what you talking about chop god is salute to you i don't know what you're referring to y'all need to clarify what y'all saying but let's continue it's true and factual um i respect the media here but after today i'm not gonna go into it anymore because it's nothing to uncover but i Presenting, uh, Cameron Joshua. Can you tell us what happened in court today? Sure. Cameron Joshua has been charged with two counts of carrying a weapon, and it has uh, uh, only tangential relationship to this uh, shooting involving takeoff. He's not being charged with the shooting. I think the DA's office knows the difference between carrying a weapon and a shooting case, and if they thought he was involved in the shooting, they would have charged him. So is this where, like, I guess there's a social media video, like what we've all seen, where he's carrying, he's in the video carrying a gun? Is that where you think all this stems from? Or? That's my understanding. According to the affidavit that's been filed in the first carrying a weapon case, it's based on the shooting. Uh, it, it, let me say, it's based on the circumstances surrounding the shooting in that based on the circumstances surrounding the shooting meaning that even if little cam is not the one who killed takeoff his actions caused takeoff to die and uh, the the attorney knows this y'all wake up we'll, we'll, well let's hurry up with this little interview to get back to the police chief because i'm gonna get back to little cam i'm not going nowhere y'all we only been on live for an hour i'm gonna make this make sense bro i'm telling you so and i so when they caught patrick day which we just dropped that video y'all can go check it out i dropped two videos on that but i'm not surprised i'm like patrick Patrick Day might flip, bro. He might flip too because it's like, who snitched on me, bro? I'm not on the videos. I'm not seen nowhere. How they know about me doing X, Y, and Z? And we just heard. Listen to what the attorney said. It's gonna make sense. He's alleged to have had a gun there at the scene when the shooting happened. And is that somebody, a witness, saw him with a gun rather than him having used it? Right. And that's my understanding as well. That it's based on a witness's observation that. Now, when they say a witness's observation, they're not talking about the niggas on YouTube, DJ Academics. I told y'all this. I told y'all, why are they taking long? They trying to cause controversies and other things in that situation. Because <coughs> I'm smoking a fuck nigga pack, too. Already was snitching, bro. Like, hold on. We got to do resets. I mean, precepts upon precepts, bro. We already showed y'all when, when, when Say Cheese TV got this information right here. Then all the main bloggers, the shade rooms took it from his. That was a goon who was in the dice game. And I can tell he was trying to make Migos and them be the ones who started it. You feel me? Because he, I guess, mob ties is his people, allegedly. We know it based on the pictures he put here of him at the actual game. When it was going on, the famous picture right here of Mike Prince, everybody there, little Cam. Quavo takeoff ain't on this picture because takeoff was minding his business in the back according to this goon too who wrote that we seen what he wrote and the girl in the black dresses or you can't see her by uh, Qua uh Quavo in the background that's the little head right there by Mike Prince we already talked about the girl in the black dress but we really covered this case the right way bruh and we didn't snitch on nobody we just giving you what's right there in your face bruh free DJ Pat shout out the little shield man exactly bruh Pat a DJ and shit, bro. That, that don't make sense to me. I'm not saying DJs can't kill, but but a lot of goofiness is going on with this case. But let's look. X, Y, and Z. Now, rap shit is different, but the murder talk? Come on, y'all. Wake up.
man y'all go ahead and hit that like button and that notification bell thank you for watching another episode of i smoke hip-hop live we're not calling little cam a rat at all but it's just odd the information that comes about for patrick day till now i guess with one of them things we'll keep y'all updated with breaking news and more on this case surrounding this matter just hit that notification bell like share comment and subscribe man i am your host dj bless one salute the i smoke hip-hop nation love your family love your kids and stay blessed i don't gotta tell you to stay dangerous if you're staying safe already salute to the kings and queens